So where we left off, I was using the pencil tool. And you can see the difference between a shape, a vector shape made with the pencil tool and how many anchors it has versus one made with the shape tools and then modified using the pen tool, right? So there's a lot more kind of fussy anchor points. But that's something nice to kind of then build around. And then if I need to smooth it, there are tools for that called the smooth tool, which will average out some of these extra anchor points like in here. I can just use the smooth tool and it will average them. And what's hardest when you've used the pencil tool is to try to get back to straights. But that is all possible as long as you understand the anchors. And I can turn all of these into straights. You know, at the top here. And I can delete them. So remember, you can always modify what's there. based on what what there is what you have and if i want a straight on one side of an anchor point but a curve on the other like this i can just use the small selection tool and move that corner in and even, even if you just have one side that's a straight it will allow you then to click that and round that corner by splitting it into two which is very helpful so now i have a straight edge there what if I want a straight edge here? I want to convert this side of that anchor point, but not the other side. So I'm not going to turn it into a straight anchor point. So Illustrator has this thing where it will zoom in centered on your selection. So unless you click on the anchor point and then zoom in, it, you'll get lost a little bit. So I want that curve there. So I'm not going to use the convert anchor point tool because that would lose both curves. Instead, I'm just going to use this handle to turn that edge into a straight. And then I can move that up, turn this edge of that curve into a straight. Actually, now that is a straight on both sides. And honestly, maybe I want to turn this into a straight too. And so no matter how you make your your image to start with, it can always be controlled. Yeah, I think that's all fairly rational looking. Now, it gets a little, a little weird here. And sometimes I can just use the pencil tool. If I set it on super smooth, I can just redraw those and it will average it out as long as I end on the path, start on the path and end on the path. So the combination of the pencil tool with the smooth tool can be really powerful. At giving you a nice looking shape. And whenever I feel I need more edginess to it, I can just play with the individual handles to straighten them out. So let's move on to some of these shapes around them. Now this is another instance where I can use the pencil tool, but I'll use it in a different way because I want these line weights to be really s similar. So far, I've only ever used closed paths. So now I'm going to use the pencil tool, and I'm just going to draw with smooth all the way on an open path that doesn't connect. And because I had smooth all the way selected, 
it only plotted four anchor points. So that's the minimum I could do for this line. Now I'm going to put a stroke onto that. Not a fill, but a stroke, a black stroke. Then I'm going to play with its line weight, just like I did for the circles. All right, something like that. Now I'm going to say object, path, outline the stroke. There's a few reasons for that. That gives me more anchor points to play with, and specifically with the way I've been doing this design, it gives me corners to round. And in this case, I can just round them all. And you see how it will give me this nice, very uniform look for that pretty complicated organic shape. See what it looks like without the sketch. And it has a combination of straights and curves. And it was all created just with that pencil tool. Let's try that for a closed path. Use the pencil tool, smooth this all the way on, which is going to minimize the number of anchor points, even if I'm a little bit wobbly with my trackpad drawing. I'm going to close this one. It created a few more anchor points. I'm going to convert it into a stroke without a fill. And then I'm going to increase the size of that stroke. Let's do, let's try 18. I can use the large selection tool to kind of warp it, position it slightly differently as a stroke. Because remember, a stroke grows from the outside, or grows from the, the path on both sides. There it is. Now, if I think that's a good thickness, I could always play, let's make it an even 17. Now I'm going to say object, path, outline stroke. And what that gives me are anchor points, like here that I can round if I need to individually. So this time I won't round all of them because I want the straights in some places so I can individually round them, even if they're inside corners like this. Now I think the generic understanding the kind of surface understanding of Illustrator is it helps people who aren't able to draw to look like they can really draw with clarity and, and precision. And so that's kind of how these tools have been designed. So you use a lot of the, the defaults in order to get those shapes. Let's continue. Good to save progress. Now that I have that shape, I have a way that I made it, and I want an even line weight, which was 17. So I'm going to continue that, making the other finger shapes with my pencil tool, making sure they're closed paths, turning on a stroke without a fill. The stroke size I'm using, I think, is 17. adjusting the shapes a little bit because you can always improve upon your sketch and then take it always back to a size of 17 and then go to object path outline stroke which allows you then to modify the individual anchor points so if i want to curve i can use the curve tool for that And I can treat them differently on the inside than on the outside. Which is something just leaving it as a stroke doesn't let you do. And I'm going to create all of the fingers in that way. Instead of copying and pasting, they're each going to be a little different, but they're all going to have that 17 point line weight to them.
Okay. Start at the corner here, loop around. This is, that wasn't the best way to do it. <laughs> let me try again. In fact, let me plug in my, my Wacom tablet. Because I like using that with the pencil tool. When it works, let's see. Oops. And I can double click on the pencil, I can check its settings, smooth. And now let's draw with a little bit more precision just because I'm not using a trackpad. And if I need to, I can redraw. If I want a little bit more of a corner here. It's like magic scissors. The pencil pays attention to how fast you go, too, in terms of its how many anchor points it puts down. The slower you go, the more anchor points it will put down to kind of capture your, your movements. I guess with the thinking that when we're drawing something more complicated, we, we slow down. Okay, now I'm going to fill it with, well, no fill, but with a stroke, a black stroke. Take it up to 17. That looks pretty good. Maybe adjust it a little bit with the, the black selection tool, the large selection tool, as I call it. And then I say object, path, outline, stroke. And that allows me to go in and modify any anchors. But I like kind of the even roundness of that one. I like that one so much, I might just select it, copy it, paste it, and modify it. But here's the problem. If I do that, I'm not going to have that same even line width. So I can only get that, that same even line width by using the stroke, just like I did for the circles, even of different sizes. So back to the pencil tool. And closing the path. Using smooth if I need to average things out. Turning on the stroke, emptying the fill, going up to 17 points. Remember, you can find this under properties if you're not seeing it in your top bar. Using the large selection tool, getting it to the right shape and space. But then before I create outlines, I want to make sure I take it back up to 17 points. Even if I'm going to have this one overlap, I guess I have those two paths overlap in the, uh, in the sketch, and I'll try that. So just take it up to, to 17. So now it's uniform. I can't decide if I want that touching or not. try not. So you're not a slave to your sketch. You can even your refined sketch. You can always adjust further. Okay, now I'm going to select it and then I'm going to say object, path, outline, stroke. And that allows me on this little corner of it that got really sharp, I can round that out. Same with this one. You can use your space bar to, to move around. And when there are just a lot of anchor points like this, sometimes it's just better to delete and work from the ones around it.